Hey guys, it's me Sam. I thought I would sit my chisel down this afternoon after getting back from Worcester and show you my latest Primark haul. Yes, I have been to Primark and I have been and treated myself. The whole plan was that I'm going to Worcester and I'm not leaving until I've got my wedding outfit sorted for my boss's wedding in August. I think, I think I've succeeded in getting something. I'll show you, obviously, what I've bought today. Everything's been purchased from Primark, hence it being a Primark haul. But yeah, like I said, I thought I'd sit my bum back down. I've not long got back from Worcester. Um, that was the longest bus journey ever. There are roadworks on the A38. Uh, there's also some hill climb thing going on at Chateau Itney. And yeah, there was just lots of traffic, so it took ages to get back. So I'm so glad to be now sat back down in my own home, relaxing with a nice cup of coffee made from my Tassimo machine. I've got one of them now, so I've got all snobby with my coffee. And I'm having it in my little, I say little, it's massive mum mug that I bought from TK Maxx. It's one of those raid done ones. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Let me show you. Mm, here comes my Primark haul. Right, let me just... I only bought... Well, it's a quite a big bag. Full of stuff. I spent the grand total of £67. And guess what? I am actually going to try these on as well. So I can show you what they look like. Now, guys, you have to remember... One is not a model. I don't do that shit. I, I am. I'm a midget. I'm fat. Most things don't look very good on me as it is, but I'm still going to do it. Why not? So, um, yeah, let's begin by showing you the first item. Right, I'm just going to go file what is what on my receipt. So the first thing on my receipt, and the, probably the last thing that I actually picked up in the store while I was waiting in the queue and they always grab some of these every time I go to Primark because oh they're useful aren't they and uh, it's their cleansing wipes and these are the charcoal purifying detox facial cleansing wipes that's what they look like in case you've never seen them before and these are a pound and you get two lots and these deeply cleanse and lift away impurities after a long day at work, I have to wipe lots of slop on the old face. It's nice just to help remove my makeup with cleansing wipes. And I've tried these ones, Ed. So, looking forward to doing so. Right, the next two things I'm going to show you now. I've got some in black and in beige. And um, it is the Firm Control Bum, Tum and Thigh Shapers. Then the size is extra large because I'm fat, like I said. Um, basically, they're a size 18 to 20. I'm a 20. I'm not going to beat about the bush. I am a size 20. Because I have massive bummage and boobage. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I um, there's a reason why I've bought these. And it's because, obviously, I'm going to be wearing a dress to my boss's wedding. But I also would like to start sprucing myself up a little bit in the office and start wearing skirts and dresses because I just don't and I should because I'm a woman and um I don't know I think it's because I'm getting old I'm starting to grow up I'm starting to see myself more it's a lady mm, me lady well anyway yeah um so yeah these are the firm control bump tump and thigh shapers I've not tried these ones so give them a go and the reason why I've gone for these ones is because they're like I've got shorts and one of the things I've noticed in the past that whenever I've worn a dress bare legged I always end up chaffing and oh just do not need that burning sensation between your legs it's just not good you know these were five or each so looking forward to trying them out and seeing they actually do prevent the old chaffing and keep everything in shape at the same time now I know I did say I was going to try a thing on and show you what they look like on but not those. Oh no, not those. Now, if you've watched my last video, you would have heard me going on about the fact that I was going to Wales, and I did 
I went to Wales and I was meant to record and film and put stuff up. But for some reason, I don't know why, but my iPhone, well, when I'm trying to upload videos from my iPhone onto YouTube via the app, it, they just they just don't happen. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, but yeah, I'm not any shoes basically gone, so I haven't been able to show you my latest trip to Wales where we went to Barmouth and oh it's just lovely and if I can get the videos up of some of the recordings I talked then great I'll do so but um we're, we're going back we're going back in September I've booked um a week off in September obviously after the whole kids have gone back to school so we'll have um the beaches to ourselves no kids no families yeah going back to Upper Porth been there before in fact we've actually bought the same cottage that we went to last time which was by a cottage i do believe i do to actually get a video of that up so if you want to go and check that out please do so so yeah um going back to wales can't wait hence why i picked up this now oh just notice the button missing in fact it's not very good oh god okay um hmm it was reduced anyway. I bought this place. So obviously, I'm going to show you on me in a minute. But um, it was originally six pounds, and it's been reduced down to three pounds. Obviously, it's pink and white polka dots. Um, very short legged play suits. Um, so yeah, I'll have to turn my legs. And um, this little bow thingy bob at the back. But I just thought, um. Well, I'm going to do around on the beach, back down on Everpuff. We're about to knock about in that. And, yeah, a little bit good that there's a button missing, but I'm sure I can rectify that issue somehow. I'll think of something. Even if it means having this built on around the waist. It's interesting a little bit. Now the fact there's a button missing. Yeah. I saw this belt in somebody else's haul in the week and I really, really wanted this belt. Three pounds, I went for the ones in large, they didn't have them in extra large, but I put it around my waist while I was in the store and uh, it fits, so that's all good. And, you know, for three quid for a belt, can't knock it really. Love the detailing. Three triple loops there. So, um, yeah, needs to build, so I've got one. Okay, so this is what the play suit looks on. Um, missing button is causing issues, so I think I would probably need to add this belt. I think I definitely would have to wear some kind of top underneath it because I'm just not that adventurous and probably not this T-shirt because it seems to have rolled off here. Which just makes it look flipping awful on me. Please ignore the pasty white right legs. Right, that's a bit better. Looks a bit more fluttering now that I've uh, sorted them out with t-shirt underneath. It's a shame that I'm going to have to wear something like a belt. Unless I can find a button and fix it on. And then obviously I won't need to do so. But I think this is quite flattering really. Because I don't really tend to go for things like this. Um, and especially since I put the white on because it's just like I feel like I need, I need to flab it away but I, I, I'm kind of starting to accept the fact that even if I covered the flab it away I'm still fat people know I'm fat so does it really make any difference whether it's on show or not but I like that and for three quid can't grumble so yeah let's just hope I can find a little button and definitely need to turn my legs Definitely. Right, I was looking for some loose black trousers while I was in Primark. And everything I looked at, I just didn't like. And then I come across these. Uh, they're more like jogging trousers. Um, I'm wearing a very similar pair to these today. They're like a brown and white stripey. Let me just adjust the camera so I can show you what I'm wearing. Okay, I did use cat food in the corner there. And I've got washing on this radiator as well. But um, this is what I'm wearing. Um, yeah, plain white T-shirt, £2.50 from Primark. I am wearing the J 
stocking dress that I've just told you about. These were six pounds. On my feet, I'm wearing some little white pumps that I also got from Primark. I think I paid five or four of them. And I had like brown satchel bag uh, uh, over me, so I like things to be matchy matchy. So, and then I'm wearing this little gold ring, very similar matching necklace, and these earrings as well. But yeah, these these are very much like what I'm wearing on the bottom. Uh, they're six pounds as well, and I just thought they'd just be nice and comfy to wear with it in the office with a smartish top. I can like uh, you know spruce this look up a little bit. I've got ideas. I've got ideas, guys. I have indeed. Uh, if not, I can just knock about at home and um, you know it's just comfy, comfy trousers, and I like to be comfy. So here's. What the loose black jogging trousers look like on. Um, I'm also just wearing them with this basic white t shirt that I had on before. But you can see the basic idea that this would just be something nice to knock about in. I can wear these with my black and white blue soles I've got or my sandals or something like that. But right, the next thing I'm going to show you is one part of the outfit that I'm going to be wearing to my boss's wedding and it is the shoes. These are very new. I was literally looking at these on the website last night and um, the girl that served me herself, she said, oh my God, are those the new ones? And I went, yeah. And she went, oh, brilliant, because I want to get a pair of those myself last before I finish. Um, they're in a size four because one's got little dizzy feet. They cost £10 and they are wide fit, so extra comfort. I've gone for a block heel because I don't do heels. I just don't. I wait. I can't walk in heels. Um, they're not my friends. Simple as that. But I needed something to have a little bit of height to me. Um, and they're nice. I, I thought these were really cute. And uh, I'll be able to walk in them. That's the main thing. This top that I picked up. Little white vest top underneath to hide my dignity and put the flubbish away. And uh, I thought that would look really nice. As soon as I saw this top in the store, I was like, oh, that is lovely. Please tell me I have got it in my size. And I was so happy because it was the only one that day did. Um, it cost seven pounds. I just thought it was lovely. I love the detailing. At one point I thought about wearing this to the wedding. Some nice black trousers underneath because I don't normally do dresses as I said. But I've bit the bullet and I've bought a dress so I'll be showing you that soon. Um, I've just teamed it with the same t-shirt underneath which says me having to go upstairs and get um, a vest top on. But it gives you the basic idea of what I'm trying to show you. Um, so yeah, I mean I think that would be really nice and comfy. Especially if I'm having a fat day in the office. And at the same time, I'm wearing them with the sandals, which hopefully you you can see. Um, I haven't done them up, I couldn't see the points. But um, kind of like it gives you the idea of what I'm trying to Ill 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 illustrate to you. Um, yeah, I think that's quite a nice little outfit for the office. I mean, I'm wondering what this would look like topped in as well. It doesn't look too bad, does it? So, um, yeah, all in all, I'm very impressed with this. I should look quite ladylike. I think one of my favourite colours is mustard. I love mustard yellow. I really do. Hence why, when I saw this top, I knew I had to have it and take it home. I thought it was a nice pair of black trousers or jeans and those heels that would look really really nice in the office. If not I could pair it up with those black jogging trousers, some black plimsolls, chill it out in the home with it. Um, this cost six pounds uh, and once again I will show you this now. Um, if you can just ignore the fact that I've got this white t-shirt underneath this top, I thought I'd keep the same butt jogging trousers on because, well, they were on, so, you know. Um, but this is what the mustard top looks like on. 
very light, very airy, very, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm not, not bad for six quid. As I said, I can also buy these in some black jeans, normal jeans, yeah. Just a nice little topped footy office, as I said before. Now this next item, I didn't intentionally mean to buy it. I stood in the queue, minding my own business, like you do, waiting to be served, and I seen that somebody had dumped this gel effect. Nail varnish. Uh, only a quid, so I thought, well, it's not going to break the bunk now, is it? And I just fell in love with the colour. Can't make out what the colour is because it doesn't tell me. It says gel effect, long wear and one coat. So, mm, I just thought it's a nice summery colour. Do ignore my nails at the moment, guys. I need to redo them before I go back to work on Monday. They are a total mess. Um, but yeah, quid. Can't say no. Right, we're coming up to the last two things. And these are dresses. Or as the receipt says, belted tunics. I see them as being dresses. Now, the one I thought... Because I thought that'd be nice for me to wear into the office. And then the other one I bought, because like I said, I'm going to wear it to my boss's wedding. I'm going to show you the first one, which is this. It's got a nice pattern. It looks like it says love on it. Or is it me? It just doesn't it? Um, as it says, it comes with a belt. I did on an arse, should I wear that to the wedding? I don't know. I might still do so. But if not, it'd be a nice dress to wear anywhere with those black heels. Um, both of these dresses were £10 each, which I thought was an absolute bargain. So um, I'll just show you what this looks like. Okay, so this is the first of the dresses, the ones where I'm absolutely adamant. It says love. Um, wow, me in a dress, uh, just to give you a bit more of an idea of what it looks like. You don't need to see the old head, you know what I look like. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, obviously, I think once I've got um, the bum shaping shorty pants that I bought, um, everything sucked in, it'll look a lot, lot better than it does right now. Um, but yeah, teamed with those black heels and the correct accessories and I think this would look pretty banging to be honest. Um, I just think it's weird to see me in the dress. I'm not quite happy with how it's oofing over the big um, beyond the bum de bum bum. Um, but not a lot I can really do about that. It seems quite flattering. And the old tummy area, I think this belt could do being more cinched in, but at the same time, I could probably replace that with another belt as well if I wanted to. But dress dress number one. And then we've got this pink one here, which I, once again, as it stated on the receipt, comes with a belt. I think somebody must have tried this on because it hasn't been done back up. But I just liked the colour of it. It's um pink. That's weird. If you all know, if you if you guys have been watching me for some time, you know I don't really do pink. It's just not me. But I thought, you know, that would look really nice. As I said, with those black heels, little black clutch bag, accessories to match. I'm not going to go the whole hog and wear fascinating stuff like that now. No. My colleague is, Mickey, but um, that's uh, it's not me. So, um, yeah. Once again, I'm going to show you what this looks like on now. And here's dress number two, which is the one I'm actually going to wear to the wedding. Um, once again, I think once I've got proper sucked in pants and probably a better bride than what I'm wearing today, um, this will look quite nice, you know, when I've got my heels on as well, and the matching accessories and stuff like that, and my hair done. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with this. I'm actually quite liking what I've got. Um, 
I think once I've got the sucky in pants on, I'll be a bit more happy about this area. If I'd gone, if I could have gone for a size up, I probably would have done so, but there wasn't a size 22. This, this is the biggest I could find it in, which luckily was my size, but never mind. I've still got a few weeks to try and lose a little bit of weight if possible. Um, but if not, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing quite happy with this. I don't think I'm going to find anything else now that I quite like. Um, um, yeah, it's dress number two. Da. And there we are, guys. That was my latest Primark haul. Um, I have to admit, I have been really naughty. Obviously, I've not done any recording since the last time I did a video. But I just thought, what would be a nice way to come back then doing a Primark haul for you guys um, and showing you and sharing with you what I bought. So, yay, there you go. As you may have noticed, the hair colour has changed again. It's gone back to being mystic purple. The black I found was just, it was just too much. And I think it was ageing me as well. So, oh, yeah, so there we are. Um, thank you very much for watching as usual guys if you enjoyed it please remember to give it a give it a thumbs up and if you would like to leave me a comment please do feel free to do so by leaving them down below and um, let me know which dress you prefer would you go for the pink or would you go for the patterned one hmm decisions decisions but the main thing is I've got something to wear. That's all that matters now. Mm. So guys, thank you again for watching. You take care. I'll speak to you all very, very soon. And that's it. I'm done. Bye-bye for now.